Yep, Mike's Magic Minute. Just me and my diet Dr. Pepper over here. And uh, what we're doing today, folks, is uh, trying to figure out why the electric fence doesn't work. Yeah, the famous electric fence everybody has. I'm a little skeptical of their work, and I'll show you why. Well, first of all, this thing has never closed properly since they installed it. And as you can see here, they have a uh, extension going over to my outlet, and then this goes to a surge protector. And then the wires come out of, gr out of the ground into this thing, which is just Mickey Mouse to shit. And basically, you know, duct tape. There's no kind of regular, you know, plug that goes in here. They make plugs for this kind of stuff to keep the animals and the, you know, moisture and stuff out of here. Because you get a motherboard in here. All right. And here's the other thing. Like, we're on the phone with them, and they're trying to have us salute this. And uh, they're like, well, the light should be blinking I mean, on this blue thing. What the hell even is this? It's just dangling here with a light diode on it. It goes up to the motherboard. They, you know, it's got this little bang, that, little spring that, like it's supposed to go somewhere. I don't know. It's got a universal battery, which is probably fucked because of the hole that they never covered. Oh, yeah, that's not all. We're not done yet, folks. If you ever think about uh, hiring these companies, they staple the shit on your fence, which looks awful. I mean, they do the best job they can with what they have to work with, but I mean, that's, you know, how these people are with their wires, the, the, like the cable companies used to be. Uh, we'll just staple it up and all. We'll go up the side here and down the other side. That'll look real good. So they're supposed to bury all the cable that doesn't get tacked to the fence or wall or whatever. Yeah, that's not buried. This bolt, oh, I don't know. As you can see, it looks to be about a 12 foot section there, which I have to weed whack and mow over. There's another small section over here coming out of the, I mean, I did a better job with my train horn for God's sake. <sighs> well, we gotta end the video. I'm sorry, this one's a little long, folks, but we're gonna end here in 10 seconds, just so I can let you see. That's who we're dealing with. I'm not saying they're bad people. I'm just saying there's some Mickey Mouse work going on. And if you don't pay the $300 or whatever it is for yearly upkeep, then they won't come out and fix it. Even though it's a motherboard and all kinds of electrical that most people can't do. And we're just lucky that whatever I can't fix, I could probably take the base and have no one look at it or test it or something.